Are you in a larynx dilemma? Well, I wanna help you get rid of the dilemma and finally know exactly what it is that you need to do with your larynx, so please stay tuned. I know that we have heard you should not raise your larynx or that a lower larynx is good, so let me just kind of tell you what happens naturally as you're singing. So the natural tendency is, as you're singing lower, you can be a little bit more relaxed, but as you're singing higher, you need more space for resonance and for everything to vibrate. That's why it is actually a natural process for the larynx to lower a little bit if you wanna have substantial sound as you're raising your pitch. So lower and I'm, when I'm going higher. If I just left my larynx and I raised it high, it's really high. It's really difficult because it makes everything small, narrow, and it's hard for everything to be resonant. So it basically increases the space and makes everything a little bit bigger, your vocal tract. That is a good thing and we want that to happen as you're singing higher, especially also when you transition into head voice. Lowering the larynx is a natural process as you're going higher. It does lower in order to create more space and for it to be resonant. So you want to have the feeling of not pressing with your vocal cords, but actually just giving it more space. However, the issue with pressing the larynx down and lowering it in a way that where you push it way down, darkening your voice, making a very unnatural voice color, then it can become strain. So instead of just lowering it naturally, I could also go way too much, way too much, way too much push down, okay? I can also do the same with my head voice, natural, and now not so natural, oh, so I'm like way down, oh. and that does create strain. The larynx also naturally moves around, it does move as you're changing pitches and vowels, when you're speaking, you will notice if you ever kind of just put very lightly, put your hand on here as you're speaking and you're raising your pitch and lowering your pitch. Oh yeah, did you see this? Oh yeah. See, like my, I can totally feel my larynx moving around depending whether I'm doing a higher or lower pitch and also depending whether I'm doing a more closed or open vowel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very normal. And the thing is, if you just push your larynx down in any direction, what happens is that you're constricting movement and that is not a good thing. Movement needs to be possible and whenever you're pushing it really harshly, it just becomes very strained. You don't want to push it in one direction too much. When you raise your larynx too much, you actually tend to put a lot of pressure also against the vocal cords because you do not have that lengthening of the vocal tract to where there's more resonance. So you need to compensate by actually pushing more air through your vocal cords and pressing against your vocal cords more. And you actually put a lot more strain on the vocal cords. So raised larynx, also not good. Lowered larynx, if you're continuously pushing it beyond where it really needs to be, then that's too much. The rule is really the higher the tone, the lower it gets, but it should never go beyond the point where it needs to be, okay? So there's a limit to how much you should push the larynx and you should never push the larynx. That should be a natural process. I know you may have gotten into a habit of pulling it up or pushing it down. You wanna work on compensating and working the other way a little bit. So if you have a tendency of raising the larynx, you wanna try to lower it and to think more on the other end of the spectrum to where you don't constrict it in a way and, and free it up a little bit that way. Freeing your larynx is important. You want it to move in order to have a natural voice color and in order not to get too much strain. Thank you so much for watching today. 
I hope you're going to be back next time and don't forget to always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.